Hello everybody. Um, I've uh, sold my uh, igloo picnic basket. This was a, a pick from my wife. She uh, found it at the Goodwill and I paid $1.99 for it and it sold for $40 plus shipping. Uh, my son cleaned it, took pictures of it and uh, did a great job and uh, we're going to ship this out today. All right, join us. We're uh, going to ship. Uh, I probably have too much to ship today, but uh, we'll, we'll ship a few of the things out with you, and then uh, um, probably turn you off, and we'll we'll ship that uh, that big giant cooler and some other things at the end. But here we go. Let's go ahead and start and tell you what's sold. Just to give you an idea, we're, I, th I think sales were pretty good. I think they were, um, let's see, we're looking at $434 um, and 52 cents in sales. Um, that, that that ought to be, and I haven't run the numbers and I won't while we're uh, doing this video, but that should be over $200 profit, um, which is always the goal. Um, don't often get there, but... Uh, for a part-time gig when you can make $200 in a day. Um, yeah, I put in some work today. I did a little yard sale and I have another video coming out that'll have that. But uh, um, this should be a pretty good day. I'm happy with it. And, you know, Saturdays aren't real big seller days. Um, Fridays don't always turn out to be big seller days, but it was a good one. Uh, my wife's been listing some stuff that she's got and some of the stuff that sold today is hers. You won't see all of it, but that igloo cooler is one. So... Anyway, let's start at the top. All right, what do we got today? We are gonna ship out. Whoop. We are gonna ship out a set of Callaway Big Bertha X12 Pro, I think, Pro Series three through Sand Wedge. Um, sold for ninety nine dollars plus shipping. Uh, shipping on it is gonna be thirty five dollars. Going all the way to Arizona, so um, priority mail, so pretty pretty pricey there. But uh, this was a fourteen ninety five buy um, at a thrift store, so pretty happy with that profit. Um, I've already packed it up; it's ready to go. So we're just going to plug in some numbers and, and print off a label. Get that roll over running. It's like music to my ears. This is how I ship off the big stuff, and this was a whole set, so to put it in one box was not not uh, going to happen. So I Franken-boxed it together, put two of them together of the long box, so it uh, works pretty well. Sun City, Arizona, Golf Haven. Alright, that one is done and off. And next up here is a risk replacement board. So here's a little trick for some of y'all out there, and, and I don't do a whole lot of board games. I used to do a ton of board games, but I don't do it anymore. It's 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 more work than uh, the money's worth it, but occasionally I'll buy a risk out there if it's cheap enough, and I'll sell the risk pieces off, especially if they're vintage. Um, and when I do that, I have the board left, so there's a couple of options for you guys out there. One is to just collect all the boards, and... You know, once you get a bunch, um, to sell them, off, sell them off in one giant lot. People do strange stuff with with with, with boards. Um, this one is uh, probably somebody's going to use it as decoration, is my guess. You know, put it in a. You know, some people have game rooms and stuff like that, so somebody might you know frame it, put it up. Who knows? But uh, got a great story about board games. Um, I used to sell a bunch. And when I sold the games, I, I would put them all on there. And I'd have a whole shelf over here full of games. And I'd let people choose. I'm like, all right, you pick five games. Or you pick three games. And I have prices. And eBay shut that down after a while. I didn't like it. Um, but before they did, I had one guy. He sent me a message and said, I want to buy them all. I was like, you got to be kidding me. It took me three of the biggest boxes I could find going through FedEx. Um, and I sold every single game. It was like eight hundred dollars, 
And I asked him, like, what, what in the world do you want these games for? And he was an artist. He was an artist in New York City. He did, you can look this up, he did some paint, um, some paint art, like, I can't remember, he would pour paint on women, like half-closed or naked women, I can't even remember, he just did some weird stuff. Um, and he wanted to do, I think, a sculpture or something out of board games. I can't even really remember what it was, but it was an odd story in one of my strangest sales. All right, uh, this is, uh, that's $11. I don't know. I probably wouldn't do it again. Send it media mail. It's a funky. One little trick is I, you, you use the board itself, the, the, the box that it came in, you fold down the sides because it's obviously the same size, and you can just ship it in that box. It's just the just the uh, same size as the board so alrighty let's see what we got here pretty cheap to ship that one let's see so I don't know it's kind of a pain but I have a hard time getting rid of those things if I'm just selling off the pieces you know when I can make five bucks on it doesn't take much time. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This time I did. Print that one. And next up is... Um, this will read Retail Arbitrage. Retail Arbitrage item. There's my Ikea back there. And it is some num noms. Some num noms. I think my wife got these and we made a little bit of money on them. Nothing, nothing huge, but uh, we double our money, I think. Um, probably like a six dollar profit, something like that. But I'm gonna kind of do a recycle job of a box here. I'm gonna put that one down the side. I'm gonna put them in that box. Save a little bit of trash. And then we'll wrap it. Wrap it in something. People must look at these things sometimes. Who in the world? Packaging stuff like that. Most people don't mind because they realize they're trying to one save money or two um, save a bunch of trash. Put this one in a bag just because the presentation is not terrific. People wonder. I did have one time one person. What was it? I can't remember exactly what the item was. But I shipped. Oh, I know. It was a diaper. I, I shipped something in a diaper box, and they they got it and they were ticked off and left bad feedback. That they ordered, um, you know, whatever it was, and I sent them a box of diapers. And I'm just pretty amazing but I don't know maybe it was a scam maybe they literally didn't think that they... anyway I, I sent a message back to him told him hey open the box never heard back from him. and got bad feedback which I don't get very often occasionally so all right, so that one's a little pricier than I wanted. Four ninety-eight, and this one's going overseas. It's going somewhere because it's going to Kentucky. All right, the label ready to go here. Taking a while. All right, here goes. All right, 
and something else just sold here. We'll have to we'll have to ship. All right, next on the list. Next on the list is a Samurai X, the collection DVD set anime. Bubble wrap around this one. I bought this in a lot, um, a whole crate of, of uh, anime stuff for five bucks, and I've just been selling it like crazy, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty on it. Um, but but I made quite a bit of money on that, maybe hundred dollars or so um, profit, maybe a little bit more. And this one sold for uh, thirty dollars plus shipping. Maybe this is thirty dollars free shipping and it's going medium. So I might have a dollar. So we're looking at maybe a twenty-four dollars profit. That's my guess. Somewhere around there. Fifteen ounces and shipping is two seventy-five. Two seventy-five on that item. So pretty happy with that. Anytime you can uh, sell one item out of a lot and make that much money, you're doing pretty good. All right, next up on the list is a remote start keyless uh, entry thing. This was bought by my son. Um, sometimes he goes out and I. Uh, I give them some spending money. I buy them breakfast, and you know, if there's yard sales in different places, and I want to go to one location, but I don't want to miss out. And he's willing to get up at the crack of dawn on a Saturday for a high school kid that's saying something. Um, I'll pay him, and uh, you know, obviously I'll pay for the gas. I'll buy him breakfast when we're all done, and uh, and he finds some pretty good stuff. Plus, he learns some skills at it as well. So. Uh, he did that one for me. Um, it is, where is it? He paid five dollars for it, and it is a Avital keyless entry, and it is brand new. Um, it's an open box, but it's never been used at all, so um, it's all in good shape. We're gonna put it in a flat rate, I think. Uh, let's see here. It was thirty-seven ninety-five free ship, and it's gonna cost uh, seven. 733 to ship it um, so he paid five so the profit on that item would be about $22 $22 which is about what I paid him for everything he got that day so I'm I'm getting uh, as far as the yard sale part of it um, and I'm getting a pretty good deal and he's making a little bit of gas money for himself so pretty happy all right let's see what we got here go ahead and print this one off 733. It's going in a flat rate bubble. Flat rate bubble. Down below 733. Alright. And it is going to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Alright, Chubb Creek. If you saw my video the other day, you probably saw that uh, 
I had a bunch of lures, um, and this is a lure that I ended up uh, listing. I want to say I might have listed it today. Listed it today, and I, I think I did list it today. Well, either whichever day I listed it today or yesterday, it sold within um, minutes of the list, which um, you know sometimes it's not necessarily a good thing that that happens. Um, because you might have listed it too cheap, but like I tell people, I'd rather have it listed and sold than, uh, than list it and not sell it. So, I'm happy. Like I said, I'm about a dollar into it, maybe less. Um, sold for $15 plus shipping. Um, so you know I'm making $12, $13 on this thing anyway. We're going to use, talk about recycling boxes, we're going to use a sweet and low. Because this is a pretty sturdy box even though it's got that soft top. We're going to put it in something like this and then we're going to put it in an eBay branded envelope. Uh, might even wrap it in one piece. One piece of bubble wrap. Just to uh, give it a little extra. And we've given it a little bit more protection but really haven't added any weight to it because that box is uh, is really really light, lightweight and this ought to be perfect so you got that and you're gonna put it in this, it's a really light flimsy box really but it's really light put it in there and close it up and get a little extra tape on here slide it in one of these give it a little extra and all of that is going to give it just enough that it's probably not going to get crushed it's in pretty good shape um, and it stays light it actually stays under four ounces so that's exactly what we needed and it's 268 to ship 268 to ship that one so that's like 12 13 profit item Really, really uh, lightweight, easy, easy item to do. So, all right, got just a couple more here, and then I'm gonna say goodbye for tonight. And uh, um, I wish y'all uh, be out yard selling tomorrow, anyways. I imagine. Come on, I need to print this one. Let's see what's next on the list. Um, I'm going to tell you one more story here while this one's getting ready to go. This was an interesting little find. I was coming home on Thursday from work and I saw a little sign and it said free. And it had just a bunch of stuff out there. And most of it was junk, but I ended up picking up a few things. And this was there and it was brand new. It's obviously old, but it's, you know, if you look at it, it's kind of old style. Um, but I, I looked it up. I mean, I took it home and looked it up. And they sell for about fourteen dollars, and <coughs> I just thought, you know what? I got this for free. I'm gonna put it out there for. I think I put it out there for twelve free shipping. Um, and so I'm sure this is gonna be a real chip, uh, cheap shipper. It's gonna be, you know, two sixty eight, something like that. A couple bucks we're looking at for. So it's about a seven fifty eight dollar item. Um, I got for free, and I'm gonna make eight bucks on it. And it took me, you know, five minutes to take pictures, list it, and it sold that day, um, yesterday. Um, I make eight bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. And, you know, it's it's about fifty bucks an hour, maybe maybe a little bit more. So, all right. That one. And I think I'm gonna let y'all go tonight. And I would uh, very much appreciate it if you do watch these videos. Um, if you'd uh, subscribe and, and uh, leave some comments, tell me what you think, if you like this. I know the camera's not great, I haven't got my setup exactly the way I want to, but uh, eventually we will. Um, and I gotta do some shipping um, after I let you go here. So, happy picking.